Good morning. So my name is Lindy Peterson. Um, I do a lot of things around the church, but right now I'm also the vice president of the board. Um, I was asked to remind everybody that pledge packets are in Fellowship Hall. You can pick them up under your name or you can get a blank one if you can't find one with your name on it or you need a blank one. Uh, any packets that aren't picked up this week are gonna get mailed out. Uh, so save us a stamp and pick it up on your own if you can. So now that I've said that, uh, I wanted to talk about why I'm hoping that you will pick up your pledge packets and that you will fill them out and bring them back in. Um, so I started coming to this church when my brother was in Boy Scouts. Uh, he was working on becoming his Eagle Scout. So for people who don't know, Eagle, it's the highest rank in the Boy Scouts. Uh, it's the only rank you don't age out of when you turn 18. It's a really big deal. There's all this stuff you have to do. Um, but believe it or not, the hardest thing, most people, the hardest thing is a service project. They have to design it and lead it. For my brother, the hardest thing for him or the most problematic was an Eagle Scout has to do his duty to God. Uh, and in his understand, it was made clear to him that his review board was going to take that requirement seriously and they weren't going to let it slide. Uh, and at that point, I think the only religious services our family had been to were some weddings and some bar and bat mitzvahs, and that was it. Um, we were kind of at a loss about what to do about this. And fortunately, one of my dad's friends told him about the UU church. He assured us that they would be cool with what we wanted uh, and that we were gonna fit right in. So we showed up on the Darwin Sunday, the year before my brother turned 18. Zach joined the high school RE group and my parents and I started to go into all the things and helping out with all the stuff. Uh, and my dad's friend was right. Uh, we did fit in. Um, we figured, you know, we, we were coming just to tick off some requirements for my brother's Eagle Scout uh, and wanted to give back. So we were doing stuff. And over the course of the next year, yeah, we fit in. Zach completed his service project. He built the bridge out to the South Grove in the woods out here. Uh, and he held his Eagle ceremony right here in the sanctuary. And I know that this is sort of an unusual come to you use story. It's not the soul searching, looking for a spiritual home kind of place, but it was really meaningful to me. Um, becoming an Eagle Scout, it's a complicated process. For a teenager, it's usually the most important thing they've done in their lives up to that point. And my brother was, let's see, what am I trying to say? It's a big deal for a teenager. Like, it's, it's a really big deal. Like you put it on your college applications. You're an Eagle Scout forever. Um, and my brother was in danger of being told that he wasn't good enough, that that was not something that he could do. He'd been raised, our family had raised him and me outside of a traditional church structure to be good people. And we were being told that wasn't good enough. But we came to this church the congregation welcomed us in and told my brother that he was good enough. This congregation supported us when you barely even knew us and you gave us something we couldn't do for ourselves. And it, it was a big deal to us. Um, and that was almost 15 years ago, but I've stuck around because yes, I like you guys. Yes, I agree with the UU theology, but mostly I think we need to be here for people like we were, people who didn't know that we were here. I'd been in Peoria for more than 20 years, never heard of this place. And I want to make sure that we can do that for other people. I wanna make sure that we can still offer support for people, that we can be a welcoming community um, and offer that kind of acceptance that you can't find anywhere else. So I hope you guys feel the same way and that you'll help me to keep our church going strong for the next year.